folks read more in a week than some of us do in a, in a year. And that means Sarah <laughs> Lee and Larry Woods can recommend the very best books we should be adding to our reading list. It's always love having you all with us today. I see one down there that I think my wife is going to love, but Good. we'll let you start here. Good. These two books, don't wait for the paperback. I read The Fall of Lisa Bello, about two young teenagers stopping someplace on the way home from school. There's a robbery and one of the teenagers is kidnapped. And it is such a page turner. And Edgar and Lucy, the story of a family, generational family, has a beginning, middle, and end. Mm -hmm. And they're both super, super great books. All right, good. Now, Liam Neeson doesn't pop up in the middle of that book, does he? No. <laughs> <laughs> he could. He could. Mm -hmm. All right. Your kidnapped teenager would fit right into Mississippi Blood by Greg Isles. It's, it's great. Conspiracy, murder, backstabbing. He's finally concluding his trilogy here. It's a fabulous book. And Clive Cussler's Cutthroat is about a century-old mystery story, 1911, Broadway, New York, all the spectacle, and a little murder mystery tossed in. All right, we go to you. It's hard to believe it's almost been a year since Prince has passed. I know. Uh -huh. Maisie Dobbs is back. This time her character in, uh, is Jacqueline Winspear has the Maisie Dobbs character in England just as World War II is breaking out. And then the biography everyone's been waiting for, dig if you will, this picture about Prince. The guy that wrote this, uh, sorry his name, Ben Greenham is a fabulous music critic and he takes his job very seriously. And I had to stop and watch videos while I was reading Did this. You, uh -huh. oh, yeah, really, really good stuff. He was such an amazing entertainer. Yes, definitely so. Soon. My guy's more amazing. These are the two serious books of the year, probably. And my guy is a, well, Night Ocean is the title. It's a fictionalized account of the life of American writer H.P. Lovecraft. Maybe our strangest writer of all time. Not necessarily a nice guy either. And the influence that he has on others and the writer's uh, husband and, and fictional life. It's amazing. Paul Auster's 4321 is the life of four boys and you know pretty quick from the outset so I'm not giving it away. Actually it's one life told four different ways from four different points of view. Uh, it's it's really uh, an incredible story. So dogs have gotten together to write this book called No More Bo Bows. You know dogs get tired of where you're being dressed up. No More Bows, great book about how not to dress your dog. And this is a really tough, wonderful book. Uh, it is a YA book called The Hate You Give. A young African-American girl uh, leaves her neighborhood and goes to a very elite school, comes home, and one of her friends is killed. Mm -hmm. And it's tough, but it's a great coming-of-age story. All right, getting close to the end My here. My young go. adult, witchy eye. It starts at the Nashville Tobacco Fair and goes to the folk magic of the Appalachians. Or my children's book of the month, We Are the Dinosaurs. Great dinosaur story for the youngsters. All right. Oh, I already said the hate you give. Oh, the Chilberry Ladies Choir. Super good story about women who, oh, have a women-only choir in England, again, right before World War II. And a really good story about Tumford the Terrible. There are no terrible cats, but this cat doesn't know how to say I'm sorry. And as you can see, it's a very underfed cat. <laughs> Beautiful illustrations. All right, cats, dogs, dinosaurs, we've had it all. Thank you all so much. You'll find the list for all of these books online at bookmanbookwoman.com. Thank you all so very much for being with us today.